Whether you're working on a car, a boat, a jet ski, a truck, lawnmower, rocket ship, space shuttle, whatever, um, getting good quality electrical connections is of utmost importance because a poor quality connection is going to leave you with some strange results, as George well knows about. So, how can you get a nice quality crimp that's going to be waterproof and hold up to any amount of strain and stress that you put on it for years to come. You're about to find out. Alright, so what are we going to need to make these crimps? Well, I've got this hydraulic crimper set. Um, it comes with a bunch of different dies that you can use for all different size crimps. Um, it was quite reasonable. Um, there's no name brand on it. It's obviously a Chinese made tool, but it's been working excellent for me for a good number of years, so I would not hesitate to recommend this. I've been using it, crimping on uh, terminals on customer stuff for a long time, and it's still working great. You're also going to need ends. Now I've got a selection of different ends here. I'll make sure there's a link to all this stuff down in the description, but I believe this one is one of my most common ones. It's a 4 gauge 5 16 stud. So we're going to snag one of these out of here, push all this stuff aside, and then you're going to need a means of trimming the insulation off of your piece of wire. So we're going to get an idea of how much we want trimmed off by kind of lining it up somewhere about there. If you get it spot on, it makes the crimp look a little nicer because the uh, insulation just kind of butts right up to the back of the terminal, but if you don't, then it still works fine. It just doesn't look quite as nice. So take that off, clean that up, and make sure to put your shrink wrap on. This is um, 3 to 1 ratio, and it has a bit of a heat activated glue stuff inside, probably like hot glue stick essentially, um, coating on the inside of it. So when you shrink it, it waterproofs the whole thing. So now at this point, let's move the block of wood out of the way. What I like to do is turn my knob so that it will go to tightening or crimping and then get my crimp terminal held in there so that it's going to crimp where I want to then just pump it up to where this thing will hold the terminal in place. Now, that looks pretty good. It'll hold it in place. So now at this point, I can take my wire and push the wire into the terminal, make sure all of the copper goes into the inside of the terminal in there, and then push it in nice and tight till your insulation butts right up against it, and then set this somewhere nice and steady. You can use your leg, but it's easier if you have a nice hard surface. Get a little bit more pressure out of it. And there we have it. Relieve the pressure with the screw. We have our crimp made, and that's not going anywhere. So then at that point, we'll take and slide our heat shrink up over the end. Take a lighter. Now this part may be a little bit difficult for me to do since I'm outside. Yeah, light it up and just gently kind of wave the flame back and forth across the heat shrink. Don't stay in one spot for too long. But now with this, heat it gently so that you don't melt it, but also at the same time you've got to heat it up hot enough for long enough to melt that glue. And you'll see the glue will start to ooze out of the ends. See it just started up on this end. There we go. And 
And there is a nice crimp all done. Clean it off with a rag and you are good to go.